Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Friends, uh, in this video you will learn how to connect two routers using static route The topology is already designed uh, This is our network for lane 1 This is the network for lane 2 This is the gateway for lane 2 This is the gateway for lane 1 and this network is uh, for when and this IP address is for when to configure uh, we are going to click on the PC and here go to desktop and uh, click on terminal and click on OK now uh, we are inside router 1 first let me change the host name host name r1 and uh, let's check the interfaces we have for uh, gateway we have gig 0 by 0 and for when we have serial 0 by 0 by 0 ok uh, uh, let me select the interface 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 gig 0 by 0 IP address 192.168.1.1 get to 255.255.255.0 hit enter now shut down the interface is up now exit from here and uh, now configure the IP address on the serial interface interface SE 0 by 0 by 0 IP address 10.0.0.1 Mm. subnet mask 255.255.0 now shut down exit now we configure the IP addresses on the interfaces of R1 uh, you can see they are up now they are showing in green and the serial interfaces are also up now now we are going to configure the r2 router same config configuration we have go to the stop click on terminal click ok now let's change the host host name r2 interface gig 0 by 0 ip address 192.168.2.1 sub mask 255.255.255.0 now shut down exit from here now let's configure the serial interface interface se 0 by 0 by 0 ip address 192 sorry 10.0.0.2 .0 .0 .2. 255 255 255 .0. now shut down ok exit from here now let's uh, configure the static route we have two routers and uh, we have to configure only one route IP route 192.168.1.0 from R2 the destination is 1.0 network ok 1.0 255.255.255.0 and the next hope address will be the R1 
uh, IP address 10.0.0.1 now the static route is configured on the R2 same configuration we need in R1 click on the PC go to terminal click on OK and simply IP route 192.168.2.0.255.255.255.0 and the next hub address is the address of R2 router and simply hit enter exit from here now let us test the connectivity okay this IP we will assign to this PC go to IP configuration 192.168.1.2 and the gateway is 192.168.1.1 ok now configure the IP address on the second network 192.168.2.2 so let mark this default 192.168.2.1 this is the gateway now let's test the connectivity command form let's first verify the IP address of the PC so this is the IP address of the PC first let's ping the gateway of this router ping 192.168.2.1 now the reply is coming from the gateway let's check the connectivity of R1 uh, ping 192.168.1.1 now we are pinging the PC on dot one dot zero network. Let's wait. Uh, in the first uh, request, we have request timeout, so uh, it is uh, uh, sending ARP request converting the IP address and to MAC address therefore we have uh, one request timeout uh, after one request timeout we have three replies if we check it again there will be no request timeout okay so from uh, R2 we have the replies coming from R1 now let's uh, go to this PC command prompt let's check the IP address IP IP config so this is the IP of the PC now uh, check the connectivity of the PC on the other network ping first let me check the gateway now reply is coming from the gateway now let's check the connectivity with the other network ping 2.2 now reply is coming from the other network so uh, this was the configuration of two routers we have configured the IP addresses on the interfaces and we configured the static route on both the routers and we test the connectivity the connectivity was successful so this is the easy way to configure the static route on two routers in the next video we will configure the static route on three routers thanks for watching